Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Rohit Tech, today in this video I am going to show you how to install and configure Active Directory Write Management Services. ADRMS First of all know that what is ADRMS? ADRMS is Information Protection Technology. It is designed to reduce information leakage. ADRMS integrated with Windows Operating System. It is based on symmetric and public key, protect data at rest in transit, and use. ADRMS requirements. OS Server 2022. Domain stb.local, IP address 10.0.0.1, Client Windows 11, Domain Member, IP address 10.0.0.2. Now let's go to the server and configure ADRMS. Go to Server Manager. Click Tools. Click Active Directory Users and Computers. Let's maximize it. Expand Domain Name. Now I am going to create 4 new users. Right click on Users. Select New. Click User. Fill User Name and Log On Name then click Next. Fill password and confirm password. Let's click on user cannot change password. Click on password never expires. Click next and finish. And in the same way, I will make the rest of my three users. As you can see our all four user is created, Bob, Sam, Larry, IT admin. Select all four user. Right click and select properties. Let's tick on email. Percent username percent at stb.local. Through this command, we can set the mail ID of all our four users simultaneously. Click apply. Click OK. Now I can check the mail ID on individual user. See. Now we will make the IT admin user a member of the enterprise admin group. Right click and select add to group. Type enterprise. Click check name. Select enterprise admins. Click OK. Click OK. Click OK. Now our IT admin user is member of Enterprise Admin Group. Now I am going to install Active Directory Certificate Services. On the Server Manager console, click on Add Roles and Feature. Click Next. Select Role Based and Feature Based Installation then click Next. Click Next. Select Active Directory Certificate Services. Click Add Features. Click Next. Click Next. Click Next. Select Certification Authority Web Enrollment. Click Add Features. Select Certificate Enrollment Web Service. Click Add Features. Click Next. Click Next. Click Next again. Click Restart the destination server automatically if required. Click Yes. Click Install. It will take some time to install Roll. ADCS role installed successfully. Let's configure the Active Directory Certificate Services. Specify the credentials to configure the ADCS click Next. Select on Certification Authority. 
Select Certification Authority Web Enrollment. Click Next. Select Enterprise CA. Click Next. Select Root CA. Click Next. On the Private Key window, select Create a new private key. Click Next. For cryptography, leave the settings to default and click Next. That's your CA name and distinguished name suffix. I will change the CA name. Click Next. You can change the validity period of the certificate to more than or less than 5 years. I will choose 3 month validity certificate. Click Next. On the certificate database window, you can specify the certificate database location and certificate database log location. I will leave this to default. Verify the settings on confirmation page and click configure. It will take some time to configure Active Directory certificate role. Click close. Click no. Click close. After ADCA configuration, I can open certification authority. Let's maximize it. Expand server CA. These are the certificate options, revoked, issued, pending, failed, certificate templates. Let's close this console. Now I am going to configure IIS. Click Tools. Click Internet Information Services IIS. Expand server. Let's maximize it. Click on server. Double click on server certificate. Click on create domain certificate. Fill common name. RMS. Fill organization name. STB. Fill organizational unit. IT. Fill city locate. New Delhi. Fill state. Delhi. Fill country. IN. Click next. Specify online certification authority. Click select. Select server CA. Click OK. Fill friendly name. RMS. Click on finish. Close IIS console. Now I am going to install Active Directory Write Management Services role. On the Server Manager console, click on Add Roles and Feature. Click Next. Click Next. Click Next again. Select Active Directory Write Management Services. Click Add Features. Click Next. Click Next. Click Next again. Click Next again. Click Restart the destination server automatically if required. Click Yes. Click Install. It will take some time to install role. Click Perform Additional Configuration. Click Next. Select Create a new ADRMS cluster. Click Next. Select Use Windows Internal Database on this server. Click Next. Click on Specify. Fill User, to whom we had given the rights of Enterprise Admin. Click OK. IT admin is the user to whom we have given enterprise admin rights.
Click Next. On the cryptographic mode, I will leave as default. On the cluster key storage, click Use ADRMS Centrally Managed Key Storage, and then click Next. On the cluster key password, set the password. Click Next. On the cluster website, verify that default website is selected. Click Next. On the cluster address, fill fully qualified domain name. Server.stb.local Click Next. Select RMS Certificate. Click Next. Click Next again. Select Register the SCP now. Click Next. Click Install. Active Directory Write Management Services configure successfully. Click Close. Click Close. Now I am going to check our ADRMS server. Click Tools. Click on Active Directory Write Management Services. Click Yes. As you can see, a connection with the ADRMS cluster server.stb.local could not be established because of the following reason. Click OK. If this type the error showing, simply restart your server. Let's close this console. Restart your server. Log on as domain administrator. Now open Active Directory Write Management Services. Click Yes. As you can see, our ADRMS services configure properly. Now this time to check our ADRMS works proper or not. Let's close this console. Go to Client Machine. Click on Other User. Log on as Bob User. Fill Password. Then press Enter. Now Bob user is log on, now I can open Microsoft Word. Go to run and type, win word then press enter. Click blank document. Click accept. First of all, we create a share folder on the server. So that any user can keep his data in that share folder. Go to server machine. Let's minimize Server Manager. Open this PC. Double click on C Drive. Create a new folder. In my case I have set the folder name is RMS Doc. Share this folder with full permission. Close C drive. Go to client machine. Type some data. Click on file. Click protect document. Click restrict access. Click connect to write management server and get templates. Click yes. Type Bob user. 
Type Bob user password. Click OK. Click Protect Document. Click Restrict Access. Now select Restrict Access. Click on Restrict Permission to this document. Click More Options. Click on Add. Type the mail ID, which one you want only read this document. Larry user only read this document and IT admin user have change rights of this document. Click OK. Click OK. Click Save As. Click Browse. Type the server name, double backslash server, then press enter. Double click on RMS doc. Type file name then save file. Close this document. Sign out Bob user. Click on other user. Log on as Larry user. Go to run and type. Double backslash and type server name then press enter. Double click on RMS doc. Open Bob data file. Click OK. Click Yes. Type Larry. Type Larry password. Click OK. Click Accept. As you can see, Larry user have only read rights, Larry not able to edit, print, save rights. Close this document. Close RMS doc folder. Sign out Larry user. Click on other user. Log on as IT admin user. Access on server. Double click on RMS doc. Open Bob data file. Click OK. Click Yes. Type IT admin user. Type password. Click Accept. Click View Permissions. As you can see, IT admin user have view, edit, copy, save rights. So viewers in this video you can learn how to install and configure ADRMS, and how to work RMS server. Thanks for watching this video. Please like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest updates.